Hello again. Bit of a breeze today, which you may or may not hear through the wind blocker. But that's okay. Gonna head in the poly step direction, but not sure if I'm going all the way to poly steps itself. Back beach really. Or more to the point, the point. Oh yes. Curry day today. First curry with my new teeth. Looking forward to that. Just one of my semi regular shout outs to new subscribers. I saw I had 1,333 subscribers this morning and I can clearly remember talking to mum and telling her that I had 333 some time ago and her being really excited. <laughs> so a thousand more. Can't remember the exact date when that was, but it's lovely to get them. Thank you ever so much for hitting that subscribe. Traffic's building up, but more importantly, I'm pleased to say, still standing. The traffic up ahead that's building up, believe it or not, after that time where we couldn't get anywhere because of the temporary traffic lights at Tesco's on Bin Park Road. Well, it's now temporary traffic lights at Morrison's, of all places. Night so we're back to this complete blockage of Timmouth and people on Facebook all the time complaining, saying that they can't get from one end to the other. And it's true, it is annoying. Thomas Looney House, a marine artist, 1837, used to film that a lot in the summer. And they had um, a lot of uh, a lot of scaffolding up, but it's all gone now, lovely. And this is right next door, it's a Thomas Looney Cottage. Pothole Street, lovely. Seagulls have got something nice down there. And I managed to scare them all off. There you are, look at that. What an expansive beach. I'm not even in wide angle. Now I am. <laughs> Certainly a low tide. Interesting to see some of the small boats that are normally moored so far down that you don't see them. Now regular viewers of the channel will get this reference, but it's so low, the tide, that I'm surprised that down here, we don't see the top of a yellow bus. <laughs> Just a week ago I came along here and I was saying I couldn't get along this last bit because the uh, tide was in. All this was lapping up against the wall. <laughs> Not today. That's Pam's old cottage, the pink one, where she grew up. And if I estimate correctly with my time scales, by the time this video goes live, a week today, I believe Pam might actually be in Timmouth. So, I think she's paying us a visit. There's the fish key, the little beach where we were earlier on. There's the new key where we were filming the back beach just now. And here's the back beach, from a different angle. Lovely. And we got the alternative ferry boat to run here today, I think. Or maybe they just put a roof on it. I'm not 100% sure, but it is what it is. At least it's running. And there in the center is the trawler, making sure we get the minimum sand on the beach possible.
Yes, it is the other ferry, ferry number five. I can tell now I'm a bit closer to it. Yes, definitely it's the other one. So I'm going to carry on along the beach, oh, trip over the boat lines that are all exposed. Yeah, I have to be careful. Just going to check in on that um, hut at the end, see whether or not the sand has returned fully underneath it yet. Haven't been up here for a few days. All the ropes for the boats across the beach. It's like a tripwire system. Well, still not quite all back, is it? Yeah, it's nearly back at this end, near enough. People take tuppence, as I like to say. But the most important thing is the uh, breakwater, the 1930s breakwater. I'm stood on the 1930s breakwater now, which is almost invisible. Almost. You can see it up there, obviously. It emerges from under the sand. But if you remember, not that long ago, there was a big gap on this side of the breakwater and we were standing there watching all the waves smash over it. So all this sand here has accumulated since Storm Kieran, which is great. It was Storm Kieran that took it all away. I think I'm doing the work of the dredger because I've got half of the sand from the point in my shoes for some reason. So I'm going to go up the top there onto firm ground, give them a shake out. That's a bit better. Empty shoes now. All good. All right, got to get them resold at some point or rehealed at least. I tend to walk on the back of my left heel more than my right. So my left heel sort of goes down and I have to put stuff in the shoe to give my, give me, keep myself level. But what I do is take it into the cobblers, put a new heel on for me. So that'll be something I'll do in the next few days. Switch over to my older pair, or my other pair, I should say. They're all old now. All right, just to give you some context to exactly where we are. There's Marina Court. There's the, um, the end area behind the play park. And over there is the Ander Court. Now, as we know, that used to be Morgan Giles Boatyard. But also, regular viewers will know, of the old Riverside Cafe, which used to be virtually the end of this little road here. Now, it would have been about here, actually, the Riverside Cafe, before this was built, obviously, before it was demolished. But um, I've shown you pictures of it before. I've shown you pictures of it from a distance. I've shown you pictures when it was a wimpy. I've shown you pictures of it when it was um, being demolished, all sorts. But I've never shown you this one. I've never seen it myself. Up close, Riverside Cafe. So that was demolished in the uh, mid 80s, late 80s, I think, uh, to make way for Leander Court being built. But I've never shown you a picture inside the cafe before because I've never seen one myself. Here we go, picture inside the River Ca Riverside Cafe. So there we go, pretty cool. And I'd just love to step into that photo and say hello to all those people, tell them what's going to happen in the future, <laughs> scare them after death. Be lovely. Be I don't normally make a point of filming the playground, but I'll just show you this quickly. This is it as I remember it. And like I say, as I turn the camera away from the playground itself, um, that's how I remember it very well. With the uh, there was like the lake in the middle, and that was uh, like little remote control boats at one point, and then they changed to the sort of bumper boats that you sat in and bumped into each other. That was all good fun. There was, of course, the little uh, racetrack of the cars, which we've covered before to the right in that picture. And uh, yeah, quite cool, quite cool. Anyway, I'll flash it up again. There we go. I thought I'd do that one as well today, simply because it was in amongst those pictures where I found the ones of the Riverside Cafe. All good. Walking by the old captain's table. Towards the pier. Still got our bits of damage to the seafront from Storm Kieran, but thankfully, no fresh damage that I'm aware of from the most recent storms. But every so every storm seems to have a name these days, doesn't it? Takes the effectiveness off the warning. If every single storm's given a name, none of the storms are special. Just my thoughts on the matter, anyway. Well, I've just found myself walking down on the beach again after spending all that time getting the sand out my shoes just now. I don't know. 
But never mind. Makes a little change, doesn't it? Hopefully you're getting some of the waves through the wind blocker. I'm pretty sure if I took it off completely it would just be a too much wind. Now there's actually a pretty cool shot that some local photographers have been getting underneath the pier and um, I've been trying to work out how to do it and how where to do it. I've worked it out now but I can't do it today and uh, I'll show you what it is without spoiling it too much I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to do it. There's like a crossbar okay halfway along I'm going to zoom in on it it's there yes and people are standing on the bar and filming up through the pier with that in the middle of the picture it looks really nice. I was going to try and do that, but at the moment you'll see not going to happen because the tide's in. Back up on firm ground. Lovely. My fish were hungry this morning. They're not supposed to be really at this time of year, but I came out and rather than all being hiding down the bottom, like hardly moving, they're all up at the top sticking their heads out at me because they hear my footsteps, you see. They know I'm there. Sticking their heads out and sort of opening their mouths and sort of thing. In other words, put food in, put food in. So they had a bit of food. Likewise, I even filled the uh, bird feeder up again. But that's been going all through. It doesn't take long for pigeons to find it. Then they fly up and bang into it, spill it all out, and all the small birds miss out on it. Never mind. Coming down towards the Cantonese house, where they've still got their cash only sign in their window. Which is funny, really, because you think they'd have fixed that by now. But I'll be going down here again later on tonight around about six o'clock to pick up my food. Lovely. Quick glimpse around the triangle before I head up to Lidl's. Just grab some milk. Really gonna control myself today. Just grab some milk. <laughs> Famous last words. And um, head up back home. Main Street. Back of Weatherspoons for Barry as I turn up Bickford Lane and make my way towards Liddles. Liddles! Well, there we go. I kind of behave myself. Milk, like I said, and one pizza. Some got mad. I show remarkable self control as we line up this shot at the station, both to say cheerio for another day's video and also to watch this train pull away. So, I'll come back when it moves. There we go. Told you I'd wait for it and you didn't have to. Going to paint it, it says so in the front. Lovely. Right, that is it now. Up home. Got some job or jobs to do around the house. And then have my curry later. Lovely. See you tomorrow. Bye.